Hi, right, so I'm back on TM4. We're at home to Bursa Sport now and we've had a little bit of a shaky run. We haven't played well and we actually were very lucky to get a draw at Galatasaray. It was a bit of a dud game at home to Adan Naspor. It was a bit of a stalemate draw and it was a tight game and we were on the wrong end of that result. So we're at home to Bursa Sport and I'm actually going to go with a recommendation someone said on the YouTube from the first video is just drop uh, one of the midfielders back instead of having the arrow back now, I think it's worth trying because that slot wasn't playing very well in the in the tactic and Sadu was actually getting forward in support so I think it would kind of make sense if we see if it's a, if we go even more a bit more defensively solid if it's going to go into health or not so might help us launch more attacks so I guess we're going to go with Eris Salad my signing See if he can do quite well in that slot. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with the... Actually, whoever I play there kind of does a little something, but Kona's slot's a bit difficult. He is kind of getting involved. His shooting's low, passing's low, but he does find through balls every now and then. So I'm actually going to take him off through balls there. Uh, I might just have him on hold up ball and then just gank on forward runs. He doesn't have any outstanding attributes where I really want to put him on like run with ball or long shots or something. It's the same with my AMCs really. Like he's pretty basic, he probably shouldn't be starting. Um, should I put Alexander back in there? He's more of a playmaker. He's very weak physically, though. Um, for an away game, I might be better off playing Gakan. I'll put Alexander Rob on the bench. Or I could play this Yoga Yoga Tassali in there. I might go with Yoko Tassali. It's actually given the young centre back the captaincy now. He's been actually not great. 6.57. Should I put an older, more experienced defender in there? And what about my wing backs? Ilka. He's actually getting very high tackling. What about Sella Cook? So I was. Uh, I'm playing him there because uh, Petkov was injured. I might try it out on top in there. For this game, and while Bass is still playing 4 4 2 attacking, oh, I should put the uh, speeder on. And we're one nil up, Gink. Missed the goal. I was sorting out the speed of it. At least we're one nil up. Wow, Gink's for a game.
we're actually giving away more chances recently. It's probably because we're going a little bit more attacking with the arrows. But please get a goal. <laughs> His support play is really good. He just this is he just doesn't get in the box. Maybe he's just one of those type of strikers. Oh, he almost got his hat trick. Let's bring on some subs for the last 13 minutes. We're back to winning ways, that's the main thing. We was actually outplayed, but uh, we was more efficient than they were. So we're back up to sixth. Okay, so on to the Samson Sport game. I'm not sure what to do with the AMC slot. I'm tempted to Instead of forward runs, we put it on a free roll. And take it off long shots. Should I leave it on mixed? I think I had it on direct last game. What's his decisions? I, um, let's just leave it on short then. Let's put the DMC on own half only. He did well that that guy I signed with his 20 crossing. He got an assist, high tackling, low passing though. Um, have I got the wing backs on direct? I don't for sure. What about the other wing back? What he's on short. Own half, cross from deep. Good. Yeah, uh, one nil down from a set piece. Almost equalised straight after half two. We gave away a lot of penalties in the first uh, episode as well. Just our central defenders just <laughs> just committing too many fouls in the box. Well, 
But we're not playing badly. A lot of eights across the board. Come on, do something uh, magical. Uh, path in where's run with ball So we're still in mid-table. Who's our next game? At home to Trenton Spur. Trenton Spur at home now. I'm going to give this Alexander of a game. DMC's out of the play. Try out this uh, defender instead of Uche this game. I need someone with better influence as captain. Guess the goalkeeper then. Oh. It's been a good start. Yes, Gink. I don't know if the counter attack tick would work better with this tactic or not. I'm thinking about it. But I suppose we are a very small team in this division, so I've got to be pleased with how we're going. 
Defensively, we've been very strong as well. There has been a few games where we've given away endless penalties, but... Oh, no. Let's have a look around for expiring players before the next matches. Um... It's probably better than what I've got. Who's uh, who's interested in the Nimes in France? How old is he? 27. There's a Greek striker here. Might could be a decent backup for Genk. I suppose we got a foreigner rule, so if I'm going to sign foreigners, they have to really strengthen the team, not not be rotated or backup players. Um, like someone like him's pretty pretty good. <laughs> Another South African. In the AMC slot. Probably if I scout more, the more, more will come up, but. For a season, he might be decent. Same with him. And him. Still doing that for Malaga. Branko Strupa. Oh. Well, maybe it'd be good coming to Turkey. I just saw two ones there and I was thinking, well, but Miatovic in that, in that hole for a season. Gianluca Festa, eh? Old experienced midfielder in that centre centre slot would be nice. These are actually interested, these players. It says they are. It'll be 36, though, by the time he comes to the club.
could be a good Belarusian, you never know. Go Turkish only. Oh, there's a wing bag here. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad than what I've got. If I go back to like a more 4-4-2 next season perhaps. Certainly be good as an experienced midfielder. Best defender is injured. It's not what you want for an away game. Gets his debut. What fits Connor? Why only? Oh, Petcon's actually injured. Uh, do I want him on long shot? Does have fourteen long shots. What's his passing? Thirteen. Or oh, Genk. Yes! That's his first goal of the season. Finally he scores. He's got two in a game. I'm happy for him. <laughs> I was just thinking he's one of those strikers that was never going to score. 
I mean, give away a penalty again. They've gone more attacking down the flanks, so this is a bit worrying. I need to take Sadiw off for someone, so bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Set pieces and giving away penalties is our biggest issue at the moment defending set pieces because we're not like a, a very physical team <sighs> so I'm to Fenerbahce now Safet's back though Can has actually played quite well recently, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna put Safet back in. He's by far my best defender. Do I stick with Viral in there? He did get. Well, he's played two eight, so he's been for a cheap little signing from a from a German non-league team. He's Turkish as well, so even better. No way, Genk's injured. Oh, did they even put a striker on the bench? I've got it. I have to play. One nil. At least we're scoring set pieces now. That young, uh, that young centre back got the goal. No. Was it? That was a suicidal pass. Wow, two set pieces in Varro again. I was going to say a hat trick of uh, corner goals. No one really I want to bring on. It looks like we got another win though against Fenerbahce here in second. 
<laughs> we created nothing, literally scored from two set pieces. And we're up to fourth. Uh, way up exit test next, so it doesn't get much easier. Away of Besiktas. What Besiktas playing? Yeah, they, I, I can't see me uh, getting much from this game. <laughs> I looked at their squad as well during the week and uh, you know, they've got some very good players. I was surprised we beat Benabache at home. I know we're at home so you've always got half a chance, but... Oh wow, Genk. My team tires second half though because there's so much pressing in these slots. Once they get tired, the uh, the better teams get through the uh, defensive block. But we've gone the 2-0 up. Well, wow. Connor, after being patient with Connor, it took him, what, 13 games to get his first goal? He's got two now. What the hell is he doing? I should really make subs. Uh, so Ilka needs to be taken off. Hopefully they'll get us over the line. Some fresh legs. The most important thing with this team is the efficiency of... We don't get many chances in games because of our defensive block. But when we get them, we should uh, we are putting them away. Either from set pieces or breakaway goals. I wouldn't say counter-attack. I'd say more breakaway. <laughs> There is a difference, but it just feels like that. Um, and we got Daniel Spore at home next. So I'm actually going to rest the uh, Ilka for this game. Uh, should I put Petkov back in? He's, he's actually playing well though, out and top. I will put Petkov on the bench. I need a defender on the bench. Oh, I do have each so that's okay. How's the goalkeeper been doing? Well... Where's half the battle finding a good goalkeeper? Uh, I guess we stick with the same team until something goes wrong. He he was a bit of a worry with his erratic back passes. He actually scored an own goal last game, <laughs> just passed the ball in the in the uh, in the back of his back of his own net. I might put Kana back in then. I think he'll get better as he uh, develops. He's still only 18. His ratings are going up slightly. He's moving towards 7 average rating. Oh, bollocks. They broke away on us.
Uh, this attack will be on the flanks the second half. Let's bring on the old man. Sapphire struggling now. one of those games where they defend well the air we haven't created nothing oh. and uh, that's a, a big missed opportunity considering them um, we got two very good results against Besiktas and Fenerbahce before anyway I'm gonna save it for now thanks for watching bye